Hi, I'm Diane Grover, cosmetic chemist trainer and assessor here with the Institute of Personal Care Science. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a smoothing blow dry cream. Now let me show you just how easy it is. Today we are making a smoothing blow dry cream which you can apply to wet or dry hair. Blow dry creams are multifunctional hair products designed to protect and condition the hair during heat styling by forming a protective barrier to minimize heat damage. They're also great for reducing frizz and flyaway hairs. So to start I'll add some organic rose hydrazole to the water phase. I'm mostly adding this for the fragrance, but it also does have functional benefits in the formula. Rose Hydrazole offers gentle hydration without weighing the hair down, so it's great for fine and frizzy hair. Next, I'll add a cationic gua, which I have predispersed in a slurry of glycerin. Now, you don't need to pre-slurry gua before adding it to the formula. I've done this as a way of preventing clumping and ensuring that the gua hydrates evenly. In the lipid phase, I'll add an emulsifying wax that creates a light, non-greasy cream consistency. And this is Lipex Shea Solve, which is an ultra lightweight shea based ester emollient. And it's an excellent ingredient in blow dry creams because it has an ultra lightweight feel, which gives the blow dry cream a non greasy dry touch finish. So it's able to smooth and protect the hair without weighing the hair down. And some polyquaternium 7, which is a cationic conditioning polymer that is widely used in both rinse off and leave on hair products because of its smoothing, detangling and anti-static properties. So we'll heat those two phases separately before homogenizing together. So after you've created the emulsion, just pop it aside and leave it to cool down to about 40 degrees before we add in the heat sensitive materials. So now that our emulsion is below 40 degrees, I'll add in the heat sensitive material. So I'm adding in some sandalwood essential oil, mostly because it smells amazing with the rose hydrazole, they complement each other really well. Sandalwood essential oil is rich in natural sanitol compounds that help to soften and smooth hair strands. Then I'll pop in my preservative, to protect my blow dry cream from microbial growth. Always use a broad spectrum preservative. I've used it at the maximum input because it's a water rich formula. And also some tocopherol. I use mixed tocopherols because it will protect my essential oils from oxidation. Now I'm just going to pop it aside again to cool down even further before I adjust the pH. Now that our emulsion has cooled down completely, I will check and adjust the pH. Once you are happy with the pH, you can pour it off and it will reach its full viscosity overnight. Now we have this beautiful smoothing blow dry cream with a lightweight consistency. See, and that's how easy it is to put together a smoothing blow dry cream. If you like today's formula, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this and email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for more free formulas. Happy formulating.